Hey guys, it's Friday and I thought I'd do a what I ate today video. Um, I'm just starting off with this tuppy of watermelon. And, oops, sorry. And while I'm eating that, I'm watching, I'm listening to a video of Victor Rambutan. And, and apparently, this watermelon, or watermelon in general, is very high, or is good for zinc, which is always good because that can be hard to get for people who eat a lot of fruit. So um, I've calculated this out. There is 763 calories in this and um, there is 2.5 micrograms of zinc or 36% of my RDI. So just good food for thought. Anyway, see you at the next meal. Hey guys, it's lunchtime. Sorry, fruit fly. <laughs> It's lunchtime and I've just uh, made a new smoothie for me and all the fruit flies are coming out um, and it's a handyman bananas concoction I think it's grapes so I have about a pound of grapes and then I have three little tangerines so I'm just gonna pour this in my and this is not all of it I couldn't fit it all in it was pouring over so I took some out. Apparently it's fruit fly approved. <laughs> so I'll just give this a try. Well, the taste is great. It's a little bit tart. Um, I used water for the liquid. Sorry guys, just got interrupted. Um, anyway, it, it tastes good, um, but I do notice the skins quite a bit, which is a little bit weird. I think if I had done it in my um, Vitamix at home, it would do a, a much better job. But I'm just using my Oster at work here. Anyway, um, I definitely would try this again. It's something new and that's nice. So give it a try if you haven't. Uh, I'll link below Handyman's video for it because he recommends like putting them in the putting the grapes in the fridge and everything. I kind of had mine at room temperature. I find cold things a little bit hard on my teeth. But anyway, I'll link it below. See you on the next one. Hey guys. So it's now 3 o'clock and I'm just going to have my third meal, which is this smoothie. I've got 25 grams of spinach, um, I think 7 small bananas, and 4 kadrawi dates. And I'll see you when I get home and have my next meal. Hey guys, I'm home now and I just got in from sunning. It's a gorgeous day out there so I'm enjoying it. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to have for supper. I didn't really plan anything tonight, so I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to have some potatoes. So there's, I think, 710 grams of potatoes, so not quite two pounds there. And I'm going to steam them, and then I'm going to bake them once they're almost done. And then to go with them, I'm going to have all this asparagus. And I thought I would show you what I learned recently, within the last year anyway, about how to prepare your asparagus. And I'll show you that in just one second. Hey guys, so I've got all my asparagus here, ready. And I used to just like cut off the last inch or so, but what I learned recently is that you take it like this and you bend it and wherever it breaks that's that's where you do it because anything beyond the break is going to be the woody part and you don't want to eat that specifically and then what I do with the parts that I'm breaking off that I'm not going to eat is I will steam these as well and I'll give them to my dogs they absolutely go crazy for them so I'm using the whole thing Okay, and then I'll show you what Okay, I've got my asparagus all snapped up. And there it 
there it is. <laughs> and they're really thin, so they're only going to take just a minute or two. And then here's all the bits, all the leftovers. And here's my help. Okay, Bear. Do you want it? Do you want the asparagus? Can you sit pretty? Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Can you bow? You're not quite done. Can you bow? No, no, no. Stand. And bow. Okay, Bear, bow. No, stand. Giddy bow. Bow. Sawyer. Come here, buddy. Bow. Good boy. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I have my potatoes ready to go in the oven now. I've steamed them up. And I got them on a plate of parchment paper. And I just put some garlic powder on them. And a little bit of this no salt added vegetable um, spice and uh, I'm just gonna stick them in the oven and let them crisp up on both sides and in the meantime while they're doing that I'm gonna go have my jog I'm just starting the couch to 5k program again I've done it about four or five times now I get all the way to the end and then once there's no more training to do then I quit for some silly reason and um, I just also got the um, I got the Kindle book for the cool impossible um, which this guy is um, a great trainer for running so I'm hoping to learn how to properly run make sure that I don't get injured and stuff like that I already ho have low profile shoes so I, I think I'm in a good position to start this so anyway, I'm just going to go do my jog and I'll be back when it's all ready. Okay guys, last time. I got my supper ready now. So I got the potatoes and the asparagus. And I just drizzled some low sodium ketchup on there. And to go with it, I've made this salad, which is the same as last time. It's romaine lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, um, grapes, and oranges. And then I'm going to have just a, a few of these beets. And that will be it for me today. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.